So apparently, the Eagles head coach can't control his emotions. So when Fat Dom, I shout out to the Sopranos, when Fat Dom got suspended, Nick Sirianni couldn't control his emotions. He couldn't keep his composure. And he started arguing and fighting with players. Now, last I checked, men in positions of power don't argue with people underneath them. I could have sworn men in position of power don't entertain debates and beefs and squabbles with inferior people. Like, if you're the boss, what you look like arguing with a co-worker? Like, have you really thought about, like, if, you, if, you, if you're the boss, I don't care if you work at McDonald's. I don't care if you work at Best Buy. I don't care if you work at a, a, a major call center for the government. If you are the boss... Your word is bond. Okay, what I say goes. Ain't no arguing. If I tell you to do something, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just going to write you up or I'm going to fire you. What kind of boss argue with his subordinates? i wait. I'll wait. Like, I really want to know. Like, this, this is lack of leadership. This is your head coach, Philly. This is your head coach. This is the same head coach. Who literally flipped off Kansas City fans even though they did beat you in the Super Bowl. This is the same head coach that was bopping his head like P. Diddy for the camera in the playoff game versus the Giants. Like, enough with the theatrics with the Sirianni shit, bro. Like, enough is enough is enough is enough, man. Like, at the end of the day, can we just admit that Sirianni is a horrible coach and he's nothing but a Howie Roseman puppet? Can we just admit that? Howie Roseman only hired puppets. Howie Roseman learned from the Chip Kelly experience that he can't hire anybody who's even remotely more qualified than he is. Every head coach that the Eagles get is a puppet to Howie Roseman. They lack leadership. They lack law and order. And most importantly, they lack accountability. Because the dude Nick Sirianni fired a defensive coordinator, was stripping his offensive coordinator of play calls. He's doing all these things instead of taking accountability for the fact that he's not coaching his players well enough. I happen to be good friends with an Eagle fan who bitches about the route trees that his receivers run. So, I mean, at some point, we all have to be honest with ourselves, people, and call a spade a spade. Nick Sirianni stinks as a head coach, which is why his offensive coordinator is better than him and his defensive coordinator is better than him because when he started off 500 going into Halloween, he got fired. Either Kellen Moore or Vic Vangio would be the head coach of the Eagles. By, the, by Halloween. By Halloween, I'll say Kellen Moore because Kellen Moore's the young guy with the offense, whatever the fuck. He's probably going to be the head coach of the Eagles by Halloween. I'm going to go out on a limb and say when the Eagles start off like 500 next year, like 4-4, four and 3-3, four, three and three, something of that nature, going into Halloween, Nick Sirianni is getting fired. They're going to promote Kellen Moore, and that's how they're going to work it. You're going to hear all these stories about how Nick Sirianni was a hothead. Nick Sirianni lacked leadership. Nick Sirianni lost control. You're going to get these stories to justify it. I'm telling you, Nick Sirianni, his days is number. Anytime your organization brings on multiple head coaches who are more qualified than you, that means they don't know who to replace you with yet, but you get replaced. You get replaced. They don't know which one of these motherfuckers is going to take your job, but one of these motherfuckers is going to take your job. All right, that's just that's just a fact. They, they don't know which one yet. They 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 they, they debating. They're like, damn, do we want to go with Vangio? Get the defense. Know we gonna play good defense. Run the ball. Be conservative. Or do we want to go with Kellen Moore? The the high flying offense. The young energy. He's a little bit more moldable because Vangio's old and stuck in his ways. We get Kellen Moore in. He'll just be happy to be here. We could control him. These are the situ these are the conversations that are going to take place in Philly when Nick Sirianni is three and three. On the next incident, he had yelling at players and coaches and shit. These are the conversations that are going to be had. No grown man should need another grown man to keep them in check when they're in position of power. The fact that the fat dog. The security guard gets suspended or gets removed from the premises. Now your head coach don't know how to act right. Your head coach needs a chaperone. He need he need a chaperone. He needs somebody to hold his hand in public. 
So, I mean, it is what it is, people. That that 49er game, that 49er game was a massacre. That's something serious. But at the end of the day, we still looking for that 49er team to beat the Eagles down the milk cart. I was hoping we saw that 49er team in the Super Bowl. We ain't, see, we ain't seen that version of the 49ers since they beat the hell out of the damn Eagles, to be honest with you. I think the 49ers is still in Philly. I low-key think the 49ers are still in Philly. Whoever watches this video, I want y'all to comment below and tell me if you think the real 49er football team is still in Philly. Because this was the last time we saw them. This is the last, the last time we saw the real 49ers was at Lincoln Financial Field. We ain't seen them niggas yet. We have not seen them niggas since that game. The last time we seen the dominant powerhouse that was known as the 49ers was a link of financial field. Maybe Nick Sirianni snatched the soul of the, 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 the 49ers. Maybe he kidnapped them. I don't know. But somebody got to explain to me why the last time I saw the Eagles was, you know. it's well, You know what? The last time we saw the, a good Eagle team was the 49er game. And the last time we saw the good 49ers was the Eagle game. They killed each other, bro. They smoked each other. What is it called in Mexico? The Mexican standoff or something like that? When everybody... Remember, remember, remember El, oh, I'm about to date myself with this. But you remember Desperado with Antonio Banderas? Remember when they would go into these things and everybody would have a gun pointed at each other's head? It'd be like this, this standoff or whatever. That's basically what happened in Philly, bro. They both shot each other. The Eagles and 49ers, they offed each other because I haven't seen a good version of the Eagles since that game. And I damn sure ain't seen a good version of the 49ers since that game. They smoked each other. I ain't never seen no shit like that before. But um, it is what it is, people. I ain't got nothing else to say. Nick Sirianni getting fired by Halloween. Never forget I said it. That's it. That's all. Um, did I have something else to say for this video? Nah, whatever. That's it. That's all. Throw those F's in the comment section if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message. <laughs>